now are we permitted to release pictures taken at Woomera, Britain's rocket and atomic weapon testing ground. Here, on October the 15th, Britain's second atomic bomb has exploded in the South Australian desert. About three weeks before the atom test, Sir William Penny flew in from Britain and immediately on went an Australian bush hat. Penny, knighted for his part in the Montebello tests, was mainly responsible for the design of the new weapon. Many of the men who helped Penny in his experiments were at Woomera organising the layout of the area and arranging for full safety precautions to be taken. Operation Totem was the code name for the weapon was to be fired on a steel tower, believed to be about 200 feet high, which stood in the centre of the testing area. A visitor to the site was Mr Duncan Sands, Britain's Minister of Supply, who was touring Australia. As the firing day drew near, movie cameras were set up to record the explosion in all its phases. Only when weather conditions were perfect could the test take place. There could be no risk. Meteorological experts studied their charts. Englishmen and Australians worked in close collaboration. Balloons carried wind recording instruments high over the firing area. Back came the data. Conditions, OK. 13 miles from the bomb, Sir William Penny waited for the flash and the great roar which would follow many seconds later. Like a boiling cauldron, the great fireball rose into the air. In a fraction of a second, the steel tower had been vaporised. Following the first pressure wave came a suction wave, which condensed the water in the air, causing a dense vapour fog. Then rockets, equipped with special recording apparatus, were fired into the radioactive centre of the mushroom cloud. Twisted into a Z-shape by the wind, the great column of smoke sprawled across the morning sky. Sir William Penny and his team will not disclose details of the test, but it is known that the overall verdict is a complete success. Control of atomic weapons is certain to be discussed at the Big Four meeting. Great Britain, France, America and the Soviet Union all agree that this mighty power should be harnessed for the peaceful pursuits of mankind.